It is a story that has stunned and horrified us, but it's also prompting us to look into how it could happen. A man in his 40s gets trapped in scalding hot tar. A tireless effort to rescue him ensues, and today the questions linger. Now, we have learned tonight that the man's condition is improving. He has been upgraded from critical to serious, but we are still trying to find out how this could possibly have happened and if the right protocols were in place. People started coming in, like, saying, do you know what's going on out there? There's a man screaming in agony. It was a horrifying scene for onlookers to watch. For an hour, 18 firefighters and two paramedics worked to free a 46-year-old man who was trapped in a pool of molten tar after the 200 degrees Celsius liquid spilled on him and immediately began to harden. His skin was all red, just from head to toe, just red burns. It was just truly terrible. It was a painstaking rescue for emergency workers who had to chip away at the hardening tar bit by bit. The worker was taken to Sunnybrook's burn unit in very critical condition. He has since been upgraded to serious. We're not giving comments at this time. The worker was an employee of RAN Maintenance out of Guelph. It had no comment today, but the City of Toronto confirmed that the company had been contracted to seal cracks in asphalt on Toronto roads. Some spilled tar softened by the sun remains here at the intersection of Danforth and Logan. Apparently the accident happened when a large asphalt torch fell off the front of the truck and the driver slammed on the brakes to avoid running it over. The Ministry of Labour has taken over the investigation but can't yet say what went wrong. A boiling tar should not be something that workers are standing in front of on a moving I vehicle. think what you're expressing is probably the first thought that came into everybody's head when they yeah. saw when they saw what the accident entailed. I don't have the details yet. I really don't know if the people were in the back of the moving truck, if they should have been in the truck. Those details will all come out from a proper inspection. A spokesperson tells City News the ministry's investigation may include detailed examination of the incident location and any equipment involved. The ministry also interviews witnesses, co-workers, supervisors, employers and anybody else the inspector determines might have relevant information. The ministry can't say at this point if there were health and safety violations in this case, but the owner of York Seal Paving, who also does crack sealing, says his company transports the liquid tar in a kettle like this one that is towed behind the truck. I never move my trailer uh, with a kettle when the uh, lid is open. Lid is always locked. Right. The only way we open the lid when we need to add material. Right. And it's a special, special technique to add material. Now, it is still not clear whether or not the worker was wearing a protective suit. Some reports say that he was. Others, that he was wearing canvas pants over long johns, which might have helped protect him. His injuries seem to have been confined to his head and arms. Now, as for the City of Toronto, a spokesperson said that it is the responsibility of the employer to make sure that all the protocols for health and safety are being followed.